Why is CPAP causing hypotension? Well, the mechanics are fairly simple. You'll see here in the thorax that you have the lungs and the heart, and there's not a whole lot of room. It's pretty much congested in here. And so when we use CPAP in order to improve alveolar expansion and improve the oxygenation and ventilation of this patient, we expand those alveoli and the alveoli get bigger. And as you can see, as alveoli can get bigger, they need more space. And when they need more space, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of place for it to go. And so it ends up putting more pressure inside the thorax. And what happens is that pressure ends up being put on the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. And these two vessels are bringing blood back to that right atrium in order to perfuse and get reoxygenated. And so we're actually decreasing preload when we are introducing CPAP because of the compression of these vessels. If you love our short videos and you're worried that you're gonna miss some of them, well, don't worry about that because we're gonna send them straight to your email. All you need to do is hit the link in the bio and we're going to send all of our daily videos straight to your email so you can get your daily dose of medicine.